Hi everyone, in this video we will going to learn about migration in Laravel. So what is migration and how to make a table with migration, write, write code for column fill, migrate database. Okay, so what is migration? Migration is used for creating the table in the database dynamically okay we can create it dynamically by using laravel codes okay if if you don't use the migration in laravel you just need to create in database manually like for example you create a table you put table name and fill something okay so migration it will create dynamic dynamically by using the Laravel codes okay it's very easy and fast so what is important the importance of migration is very important for we work in team like for example we have the one project and we have many developers for develop that projects so it's easy to share the uh, table structure to uh, other user because when the user start to develop their project they need to use in the database in local so they can migrate uh, the table uh, in the project okay and when someone change the table structure they just run command migration it will generate all uh, uh, table structure so it is very helpful for working group okay so let's go to create the migration and generate it together so let's go here is my old project but i need to okay i need, I need to this one i just created it before you migrate the database you need to check Sorry, before you migrate the table, you need to check the connection. Let me check env file here. Env file. We looking for in here. I config it to my database inventory, and the user is uh, raw and my password is empty okay i save it and let me test it let me test and i go to my server maybe i'm not start the server service so let me um, start it local host okay that fence so here is my database inventory i have two uh, table is the existing tables so i want to create another um, table by using migration so in here we have two table so now we create the migration Mm, I go to new terminal. I create one migration file like PHP addition makes migration and you put migration name like you can uh, create it is the syntax create and then you put uh, table name like for example my table name is test and the last of the command you put table okay so remember he is the table name he is the syntax he is the syntax okay so remember this we just enter it and now let's go to migration file together we go to database inventory and looking for test here actually the laravel automatically generate 
the force for our uh, migration file here and the last one is my generation so now I want to add the column here you can see is the function app I, and I add the column here so you can use tables and I just put names you can say string okay we put like this string name and okay in this case maybe it's not correct you put like this mm, let me change it again here yeah, put address and close here yeah. and here we put like this this is the rise syntax so I add some more column in here name and address and we create all also the time spam and IDs okay so let me save it and migrate in here it will create the uh, six okay uh, six table okay and I will tell you what is the last one of the table so let me migrate it you save it and then we go to terminal and you run PHP at tsend my great okay you can see here is done for migration let me check in our database refresh it okay the customer is the existing and he is the new that we have generated uh, a failed job migration okay here, uh, here is, is my migration file and the system is automatically the latter will we create automatically with migration here okay so migration table here it means store all the migration file from Laravel in here okay it, it will be very useful in here it store all the history okay let me check here is my table that I have to generate it so you can see and yes that fine so example of generate the migration so in the next video I will um, explain you more detail about migration how to modify it and we will do a lot of things with the next video okay so in this video it's just the basic how to create migration and let a little bit uh, example okay so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next videos